Hi, G. Hi, Ben. G, it's me. Um, have you heard... Have I you have heard? just heard the news about yeah, Elliot Pond. you heard the news about Pondy. Yeah, it's a, it's a big problem. So who have you got as a replacement? Well, actually, he's been around the lower leagues a little bit. We've managed to get Billy Painter. You have got her painter in. Well, yeah, Billy Painter. But he's, he's a footballer. That's yeah. actually good as the back of the main stand needs are going over. No, no, no. He's not actually a painter. He's a footballer. Co- no, you've not... Oh, so he does more interior painting. No, no, he doesn't do he doesn't do any painting because his job is a footballer, G. That's why we've got him in. So Billy does not paint. Billy does not paint. No, Billy plays football, but he's a striker. We'll have to change his name. No, no, we don't have to change his name. We just keep it the same because it's fine. Billy Footballer. No, we can't just change to Billy Footballer because, no, that's not how this works, G. Because that's, that's his job. Yeah, I'm aware that's his job. You're not aware that's his job, though. Are you sure he cannot paint? Not even a little bit. Well, he can paint a little bit. Everyone can paint a little bit, G. That's just, that's okay, the nature. Okay, well, that... send Billy to me. No. I've some painting. That needs doing. We've got a really important game. We've got FC United of Manchester today, G. I've not got time to send Billy to do some painting for you. Bye, okay. Ben. See you later, G. What is the point? The, uh, run the intro. Right then, viewers, there's only really one place to start. Elliot Pond, our 21-year-old striker. Now, the situation is we might have to release the Pond. He's got four months left uh, of his injury to, to go with. He's not actually a contracted player. Can I really let Elliot Pond go on a free? I mean, can I just toss him away like that? Can I just let him go, is what I meant. It's a situation. I mean, leave your thoughts in the comment section. His contract, I mean, we're not paying you anything. And it, we only pay him appearance fees. So on that lot, that situation, we're not actually losing any money. Um, but it does mean we've had to bring a few players in. We've now got Davis and Pond both out till the end of the season. So the solution to all our problems is here. Right in front of your eyes. Billy Painter, who's not a painter, for those that are wondering, has been brought in uh, to the club to play for us. Uh, I think actually it's not a bad sign. He's taken a bit of a step down from uh, the Sky Bet League 2 with Hartlepool, where he's been without a club um, for most of the season. So he was probably delighted just to get a call, to be honest. Uh, four games so far, no goals, but today could be the day and that's what we've got to remember today could be the day and you might be realizing now that we're in february and i did say we'd do a transfer thing it's just because of the postponements last time i thought we'd just move on a little bit and get to the fc united and manchester game because otherwise we'd have probably missed it so i feel like revenge was on the cards and you should witness it uh we've also made a couple of other signings let's take a look at them so as i showed you capend last time and our capend and painter will be playing together up top david atkinson as a player i've just brought in uh, could play right back or defensive midfield where he's going to be occupying the space more for me where when necessary uh, a player that we've really lacked the area of this guy's potential uh, four star current ability five and a half or four and a half star uh, potential ability has got all the tools 24 years, years, uh, years of age I'm hoping we can keep him for longer than his, uh, his contract when it runs out in June so who else have we got Callum Nicholas attacking midfielder three and a half star current ability uh, we could have promoted someone like Craig Tidy up into this position but I think getting someone who's played there uh, a little bit more in, in his advancing years I say that 20 years of age uh, he does need to get a little bit more fitness um, he's been at Liverpool and Manchester United so a, a name that a few people may well recognise and now he's uh, he's with us with Salford and then finally Lee Flint I figured that if we were going to change formation at some point then we're going to have to have a backup to the place, the person that's been replaced etc so I've brought another attacking midfielder in uh, three and a half stars I feel like he's, he's going to be alright good determination and good leadership apart from that questionable and he looks he looks hard I think that's the main reason I brought him in because he looks hard I w I'm not going to get in a fight with him Lee Flint that's because that's what his face is made out of so the team we're going to play today is actually without any defensive midfielders or any attacking midfielders we're going back to the 4-4-2 uh, and I'm going to try and keep it a little bit more mellow as mentioned we play FC United Manchester today we'll also play Bradford for PA and since we last met we've won one match uh, I do believe the last time we played was against Kidderminster I seem to remember uh, since then three draws uh, and a loss in the league oh sorry four draws uh, Staley Bridge we drew against Harrogate we eventually drew against lost to Chorley uh, lost in the FA Cup trophy second round replay uh, Gilsley is that how you'd say it I'm guessing <laughs> we, we drew with them and we lost to Kidderminster we did though beat uh, Kettering so that's not too bad anyway two games to take FC Dunn Manchester Bradford PA let's get straight into these he says three and a half minutes into the video or something like that 
Right, do not let me down today. Do not let me. Do we get Weber on the bench? The fact we can't have seven subs is an, it is an irritant. We don't need we don't need that many defensive players. Let's get him on. Weber on the bench. Uh, instruction wise, we've changed it a little bit. Um, just keeping it a little bit more simple. We had too many instructions before. Didn't like it. We're going back to this. Painter Capend up top. Just realised that we've got one more day to go. So, good planning. In before an injury. Now, going into today's game, uh, we are in 10th place with a game in hand on a few other teams above us. Uh, FC United of Manchester, 18th place. So, a game we should win. Obviously, last time we played them, they hadn't won a game. Since then, they've won nine more, uh, which is only three less than us. <laughs> oh, dear. It's not been good. Uh, we've been drawing too many games in recent weeks, so we need to get back uh, on it with a win. FC United of Manchester, they beat us last time. I'm not standing for it. This time... They're asked for the taking. With Painter and Compend up top, they've got no chance. They're playing the 4-4-2 also. Uh, it should be noted, I'm not sure I mentioned this, but uh, Challoner was was offered a contract by FC United Manchester. Turn them down for us. Hopefully today he can uh, he can put in a strong performance. We owe FC United of Manchester after what happened in our last match. Go out there and get revenge. That's why I like revenge. Now, my only concern is this front two haven't played together and they've hit the, they've hit the, the post very early on now we need to win we're not that far away from those playoff spots if we have a good end to the season uh we can certainly be in contention as they've got a chance oh well hammer who i believe scored in the first game we played against them has missed an absolute sitter fc United manchester absolutely dominating us at this stage in the game they've hit the post again this is not good we're going to go defensive we're going to try and stay calm Oh my word, we're getting battered. And we're at home as well. Why, when they play us, are they so up for it? It's ridiculous. We're looking for revenge, but so far, it's all them. Caprice has just about got it clear. Challenge now, plays it forward. At Manette, we've, we've lost the ball quite pathetically there. And now they're going to come back at us all over again. Kante gets it back, though. Ball forward to absolutely nobody. Platt plays it forward again. Hannah through on goal. Each, well, he should never be missing that. Lynch is keeping us in it. Uh, a little bit nervous at the fact that we're not doing very well. And they continue to come forward. Ooh. Okay. Half time. I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying this at all. I just feel like the Capend Painter partnership isn't working. So we're going to bring on Danny Weber to play as the poacher, just because I think he's slightly smarter. Painter and Weber up top, and we're going to change. We're going to change Tanoi. Number seven, Andy Tanoi, changing to a deep line playmaker. Thank you. You wouldn't announce that to the crowd, actually, would you? That's something that should be said. Can we not announce that, please? Sorry, sorry about that. Um, sorry, that was the lift it on. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. First half. Ignore it. Scrap it. Doesn't matter. It was nil-nil. We start again uh, with a few little tweaks to what's gone on. I'm going to go counter-attacking as well. <laughs> right, we've had two shots this half. We only had one in the first half. And we've got the ball at our feet. Tanoi now with the ball. Spreads it beautifully to Mena. Uh, Mena cuts inside. Let's just not lose the ball. Capel. Weber. Oh! Things! Can only get Weber! God, I never thought we'd, see it. we'd hear it again. Danny Weber has scored a goal for Salford City. <laughs> we weren't expecting that. Things could only get Weber. I don't know if it'll be time or not. Capel puts the ball in, or Chapel, how you want to say it. Danny Weber with a flying volley. Zlatan Ibrahimovic S. And we're 1 0 in the lead. Hashtag scenes. My God. My God. Danny Weber. Well, things are looking up as uh, as FC United manages to come forward. Ball played in. Daniels. Good defending. Watkins Clark out to Weber. And now the counter attack in full effect. Billy Painter holds it up very well as, uh, as Danny Weber pushes forward. Mena now with space to run into. Plays it into Danny. Oh, never mind. Oh, my word. The time is the time is ticking away at a rapid speed. We're in the 88th minute. We could we could grab a win here against FC United of Manchester. There's a little time. Five seconds left or so. Kays with it in the middle. Daniels. Unless it's Paul Daniels. He's got no chance. And there it is. One, what, one just a nil. One just a nil. One nil. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Salford one. Uh, uh, FC United Manchester, nil. Well done, lads. Revenge has been served, and it's been served with... Yes, it has. Oh, boys. Hashtag scenes. Bottle jobs no more. And please, if you're going to write bottle job, know what bottle job means. I shouldn't say this sort of thing, because now we go into this next game, and... Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to say now, in our, in our post-match press conference, the finish line is in clear sight. We have to make sure we're sprinting towards it rather than slacking off. Every match matters now. Do you know what? I've brought in two strikers. Danny Webber sitting there going, play me, boss. I'm the one for this. Right then. Bradford PA coming up next. Oh, just before we carry on, uh, I mentioned that we had some ins recently, mainly because we had some outs as well. Uh, Giverin's gone, a player that we really enjoyed, I think, during our time. Uh, Jack Callahan, another one, Fasini, and Callum Steele has got out on loan. Not left yet, just keep him around the place. I didn't want you to not know what's been going on. Giverin and Hallahan, thank you. We'll miss you. Thank you. 
Also, a bit of news. Peter Phillips has gone to Oldham for a month. Uh, a few people have been asking about Peter Phillips. There he is. He's not progressed maybe as much as we might have thought. Um, would still walk into our team, though. Make no mistake. A little Peter Phillips update. Oh, that's a haircut. Julian Pierce is well. Well, that is bold. Especially in Manchester. Five foot three with that haircut. You're not asking for trouble. Okay, welcome back to uh, the second game we're going to play. The only change I've made for today's match is that Danny Webber gets his start. I think a pen off the bench might be quite useful. He's relatively quick. Um, he's, he's a bit more of a poacher as well. So if Danny Webber's struggling at halftime, whatever, we can make that change. Uh, but Danny Webber, two goals in two starts and six off the bench. Uh, Billy Painter, still yet to score. Don't worry about it. Let's make him attacking. What can possibly go wrong there? I can't believe we got to play Things Can Only Get Weber. It's been a while. We could tweet Danny Weber just saying, great goal. Great goal against FC United of Manchester. I mean, at Daniel Weber 81 would love that, I'm sure. He'll be well confused. Right, start said match. We're kicking things off. Bradford PA. I'm not sure what the PA stands for. Right, with, <laughs> with Danny Webber and Billy Painter up front, we are throwing back to 2005 here. And, and we're, we're, in, we're in high spirits. I just realised we changed uh, Tannoy's position halfway through the game against FC United Manchester and we got our awards. Walter, oh, the cheek of it. We're changing it now. Billy Painter, get back on support. Can't trust you up there. Oh, the highlight thing. I make it clear I don't want to watch the highlights when I start doing tactics. <laughs> Tactics. Ooh. We were also on defensive, so if uh, if we start to if we score one, we might change about Billy Painter. Or oh, Billy Painter, almost a, almost a goal. Tanoi corner ball. He's very good at corners. I think he's got sixteen corners. Ball whipped in. Billy Painter's going to get there first. Really, Billy. We'd quite like you in the middle, mate, because that's kind of why you were signed. Chalano. Oh, shot from distance, and O'Connor makes the save. One nil down away from home against a team that are nineteenth. So that's good. That's great. Right, we're going to get aggressive. Uh, I expect to see a much better showing in the second half. We're going to go attacking. No no surrender. That's what we're going for here. No surrender. And obviously we can bring Kapend off the bench if uh, Danny Weber doesn't score by 60 minutes. Ball played in. Painter is he's, he will be floating. Painter on it now. Plays it back. Weber. Things can only get Weber. Yes. Can only get I'm doing this. Can only get Weber. No, I found you and you and you. Ball played in. Danny Webber, back stick. It's ah, oh, it's a it's a wobbling, 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 wobbling day. It's a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day for goals. Oh, oh my good grief! He knew I was going to take him off. He made the he made the difference. Maybe another one is in the offing as Tanoi now brings it forward, plays it across. Chana, well, well, I say the Webber was on the last man, but he's not been on the last man for about ten years. Mena now on this left side, painter. Oh, it's a party. He's he's he's. He's painting, and that's the painter. That's what. He's, that's his celebration. You can't see him. That's what he's doing. He's painting it all over the place. The ball played out. Men are on this left hand side. The ball's whipped in. Billy paints with his pink boots. He's fired home, and he's off. He's off to paint the main stand. Oh, we're away from home. Don't do it. Don't do it. Billy, we've got to get back, mate. Boss. Sorry, boss. Just thought I'd finish this bit off. No, no. Billy, come on, mate. They're coming forward. Maidley on this left-hand side. Ball put in the middle. Watkins Clark with a, with a decent clearance. I think we should go defensive at some point. Turner back across. Dudley with it. I'm a bit concerned, but Mena's going to bring it away. Painter to Weber. There's not a lot of pace in this attack, but we're still going forward with it. Chapel ball in. Challenger. Oh, it's a goal. It's 3-1. It's a tactical turnaround. I can't believe what I'm witnessing, and neither can you. It's 3-1. We were 1-0 down at half-time. We're up to 8th in the league. We're getting promoted this season. The playoffs are in sight. Chapel plays it in. And Chandler... I don't know why I started calling him Chaloner in this game. I don't, know what, I don't know what happened in this episode. Chandler. Chandler is his name. I did sarcasm jokes a few episodes. Where have we got that from? Because of the Friends character. Ch you, you know. Look at that celebration. God. Loving it. Look at clapping as well. We're, we're watching this for a very long time. I'm not entirely sure why. Okay. 3-1. Would you, Adam and Eve it? Mena has run the show. Two assists in this in the second half. He's been all over it. Bradford PA. Well, what a PA should stand for. Pathetic arses. I don't know. I don't know. I've gone with arses. I couldn't think of another word today. Billy Painter has put in not a man of the match performance, but a top notch performance. Bradford PA one. Salford City three. Danny Webber, if you weren't tweeting him, you're doing it now. Maybe put Billy Painter in that tweet. Let's confuse everybody. Billy Painter and Danny Webber put him in the same tweet. You two make a beautiful partnership. What? <laughs> oh. There we are then, up to eighth. Loving life. 
Right then, viewers, that does bring us to the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, I certainly have. Do leave a like. Let's aim for 801 likes. Why? I don't know. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow with some more Salford Story. Oh, what an episode. Weber, painter, goals everywhere. Loved it. See you again soon. Goodbye. Little wave. I hope you wave back when I do that, otherwise I'd feel silly. I'm not even in control of this. Can someone, can someone get this hand and sort it out, please? Oh, my God.